Hi, this is Paul. Yes. I know it's it's a non-emergency day, and <laughs> it could be that local law enforcement has caused a pandemic throughout the population because your dog was more important than the citizens. <laughs> but as a father, approach, I'd like to speak to my sons, and you said what you were doing was more important than the laws of the United States. <laughs> Now for every cop, yes, sheriff, ooh, every oath of office that thought having a dog was more important than the population, I find one dog anywhere in this nation, one clone, anything that you made that looks like a person that wasn't inoculated, ouch, vaccinated, ouch, didn't have flu shots, ow. I'm thinking that you're intentionally wanting to kill off humanity. Oh, now you say I'm crazy, but I gave you the evidence where I didn't get any due process. Yes, there was forgeries of the petitioner. Yes, and an elected oath of office. I didn't get any notice of court hearings. Oh, you arrested me for crimes I didn't commit. And you wanted to sit there every fucking day and act like your dog was more important than the population of the world. Now, I'm wanting to speak to my sons, and I want you to remove your fraudulent court orders. Poo. Then I'm wanting you to, to be arrested. Pooch. Going to prison for thinking that, oh, our top secret technology where we need to come to find out. Yes is more important than protecting the actual immune system of of the citizens. <laughs> now today, okay, pooch, I find out that you decided to dog me or my family. <laughs> you stupid fuckers. There's law enforcement right now. You're going to prison for the rest of your lives <laughs> for deciding that what looks like a person was more important than the actual people. <laughs> Now, Sergeant, ouch! Did you make sure that your dog was vaccinated uh, against yes. <laughs> any and all known illnesses that affect the child development of those that are citizens of the United States? <laughs> when we look at the vaccination records, and you had to be on the high school, did you? <laughs> you didn't like me talking about the bikinis, those that are 16 or 18 that can have consensual sex with themselves? Ouch! You know, I'm thinking that you're sewing in of anything that could be affecting the actual immune systems. Yeah. Could be a hundred billion dollar lawsuit. Might be multi hundred billions, depending upon how many that you had to have. Ouch! Oh, well, let's see. America spends X number of billions of dollars vaccinating the children that go to school. Yes. And you decided your fucking dog that never had a shot was going to have to be on them. Yes. That did what to the actual vaccinating of the students in every school? Now today, oh, super top secret, okay, non-emergency day. It's a beautiful day out here. Yes. I had thought that Marilyn wanted to reside with somebody other than her husband. Yes. I thought it was exploitive of Marilyn oh, and her adopted daughter, Legina. Yes to have a picture of my sister, Susan Bowers, and I wanted to speak to her. Did you get my phone number? <laughs> now, we're going to look through exactly, aren't we? Yes. <laughs> the effect of the vaccinating, the flu shots, yes, and any and all other shots that are designed for human beings, yes, and for every fucking cop that thought having a dog so they could be on the population was more important than protecting the actual health of the population? Yes. I'm going to sue every one of you. Well, why don't we do this? You're a police officer, right? A sheriff. Yes. You have a driver's license. Yes. Did you let your dog drive your car? Ouch. Why don't you get me every insurance company of the United States and all of those that are insuring the actual personal vehicles, the property and casualty? Yes. Every employee of every property and casualty insurance company of the United States for the last 40 years. 
GPS their location. Pooch. Now they were super top secret? Yes. <laughs> they didn't notice that the individual living in your house wasn't you. Ouch. You decided to grease the palms again. Pooch. You greased the wheels. Ouch. I'm thinking that you caused one of the greatest epidemics of America. Pooch. Uh, because you just would not enforce the laws of the United States. <laughs> now get me the property and casualty insurances of every oath badge attorney, yes, <laughs> all mandatory reporters, yes, and every employee of every school district of the United States that thought, yes, <laughs> I'd stay home and I'd let my dog do the teaching, yes, <laughs> isn't that right, principal, ouch, <laughs> superintendent, ouch, <laughs> now, I'm going to make sure, okay, <laughs> that all of those that know <laughs> That it's against the law to have anything that looks like a citizen. Yeah. Doing the teaching. poo I don't think that you actually obligated them to get vaccinated before. Why don't you get me the actual shot record? Yes. Of every employee of every school district of the United States. I'd like to know. Did they have a tetanus shot? Yes. Did they have a flu shot? Oh! Did they actually, while growing up, you know, in the 70s? Yes. I was born in 1970, and I'm not in a hurry today. You just sit the whole fucking day! In the 1970s, I remember getting uh, vaccinated. Yes. And uh, there were three live viruses, because I did the research about this. Right. <laughs> But um, over the years, we kept adding live viruses to the actual vaccination records of every student that goes to school in the United States. <laughs> and we were up to 76 live viruses. Yes, but you had to make a, a dog that looks like a student <laughs> that didn't actually get vaccinated. The stu Well, it looks like you're killing off the, the children that go to school. Mm. Did you fucking understand what you were doing?